Hi guys, my name is Tara and I am coming to you from Old Worthington Library with a series of books, see, I brought the books, to share with you guys um, that I think you'll really enjoy. If you like fantasy, action, adventure, mystery, friendships, and I've learned some stuff too, I have got the books to share with you guys. So we are gonna kick off with our first book and it is called The Reckless Club by Beth Varble. The Reckless Club follows five students, Jason, Lilith, Rex, Wes, and Allie, as they are forced to volunteer at an assisted living and nursing home due to a series of unrelated pranks they decided to play on their last day before going to high school. Now, naturally, because it's summer, you can't do detention. So their principal comes up with a rather ingenious way of punishment. Um, they are going to volunteer at this nursing home, desperate to try and make it through this day in one piece, trying to actively avoid each other. They find themselves colliding and with so a series of interactions with some hilarious residents you get to meet in this place. And they find that maybe they're not so different after all, and that these kids have more in common than they think they do. Um, sure to remind you guys and perhaps your parents and older generations of the 1980s film, The Breakfast Club. Um, I think you guys will really enjoy this. It's about our differences and about coming together. And I think you guys will really enjoy this one. The next story that I want to share with you guys takes us to the beautiful coastal town in Syria. This one is by Jasmine Warga and it's called Other Places for Home. This book follows 12 year old Jude as she is living with her family in Syria with her mother, brother and father. Um, however, when the Syrian war gets closer and closer to their house, they decide it is unsafe for Jude and her pregnant mother to stay there. So they decide to go to Cincinnati, Ohio to live with her aunt and uncle. Obviously, she is incredibly torn by this decision. Um, she's leaving her father and brother behind and she is traveling to a new country, learning a new language and adapting in school, which as we all know, can be hit or miss sometimes. Um, so as she is navigating through this very strange and new world, Jude um, finds that she has an inner strength in her that glows so brightly and she discovers that there are new ways, new and creative ways to build a home for herself and in other words to call home. Um, my next story that I want to share with you guys is for all my fantasy and action lovers out there. I know you're there. I can see you through my screen. And this one is called Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. And this one is by Kwame Mabalia. And this follows 12-year-old uh, Tristan who is living in Chicago. And Tristan is having a bit of a rough go with this. Um, his best friend has recently passed away and he is really struggling with this. So his parents decide that he needs a break and they're gonna send him to spend some time with his grandparents uh, on their farm in Alabama. So on his travels um, to Alabama, he is, has a lot on his mind and he is staring at this journal that his friend left him. Um, and he is trying to find the strength to open it and to read it, but honestly, he just can't. And so he is just trying, he's honestly, he just kind of wants to get through the summer and just try and get on with his life. Um, however, um, the story obviously has other uh, ideas in mind for him. Uh, soon he finds a talking doll has appeared in front of him and steals the journal. Tristan is like, um, what just happened? So he soon finds himself thrust into this world full of West African and African American folklore and mythology. And along the way meets new people and creatures and customs and ideas as he tries to find this uh, talking doll that stole his friend's journal. And he comes across uh, monsters and has to evade skeleton ships and so much more um, than he ever possibly imagined he was going to be facing this summer. Um, 
This is also book one in a series. So I believe book two is on its way out or is already out. So you're gonna wanna read this. You're gonna wanna get caught up and you're going to wanna read book two right away. So Tristan Strong punches a hole in this guy. Uh, if you want some action adventure and some fantasy, this is the book for you. Um, if fantasy is not quite your thing, that's okay. I've got you covered. My next uh, book I want to share with you guys is called The Whispers by Greg Howard. Um, the Whispers uh, follows Riley, and Riley is also dealing with some things. It's not a theme I meant to have, but he's also dealing with some things. Um, his mom has been missing for four months, and it doesn't appear that anyone is that interested in helping him find her. Um, so relying back on old stories, his mom told him about these all-knowing creatures that live in the forest called the Whispers. Riley decides that he's going to grab his two best friends and they're going to head into the forest and they're going to talk to the Whispers because um, Riley needs answers. Um, so he grabs his best friends, uh, Gary and Dylan, and they set off into the forest. Along the way, um, of course, they're going to get in all kinds of crazy scuffles. Um, but also along the way, you learn more about Riley. You learn about some of the bullying that he faces at school. Uh, you learn about his not-so-secret crush on his best friend, Dylan. And you learn about his struggles with his conservative church and his identity and sexual orientation. Um, but you also get to find out what happens to Riley's mom, because that's what we all want to know too, right? Um, so it's about Riley finding the truth, but also finding the truth within himself as well. It's a really good read. You guys will really enjoy this one. Um, my last book that I want to share with you guys is a nonfiction. Now, before you grumble your eyes at me, I promise I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, so this book is about the notorious RBG, our late great Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Readers will get to explore her early life as a young Jewish girl in New York. They will also get to follow her as she starts at Harvard Law School and then transfers to Columbia Law School. So obviously a very smart lady. And also her historic work toward gender equality and civil rights. Um, you get to learn all about her in this awesome book, Notorious RBG, The Life and Times of Ruth Bader Ginsburg by Erin Carmen and Shana Kisnick. I hope that I have talked about a book that caught your fancy and that you guys want to check out. All of our books are available um, to be uh, reserved and picked up via curbside at any of our Worthington locations. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.